Hey there, Emmanuel here from WebDevFuel and in today's video you're going to learn how to use the use context react hook in order to have access to global values inside your application. Now we're going to do that by using a simple application that is going to allow us to toggle a sidebar from different parts of this application and essentially we're going to have this app.js component right over here that is going to house our initial state and then is going to pass in the context to both of these children so that uh, we then have access to it here on our header in order to be able to toggle our sidebar from this toggle component which at the moment as you can see it simply has here uh, a constant with the value of false and then we're going to be able to show this component via the styled components so if you navigate uh, if we navigate back here to the bottom you'll be able to see that if we pass in here the props of is open uh, if it is open then the margin right is going to be zero and if not the margin right is going to be minus 384 pixels which is the same uh, as the width meaning that if this is not open then the sidebar is not going to show and if we pass in the state of open the sidebar is going to show and also we're going to show a different icon based on the fact that this is open or not so if it is open we're going to show an x uh, cross sign a cross icon and if it is open if it is not open actually we're going to show simply a hamburger uh, icon so with this in mind here's exactly what the application look like looks like and if we click here we should be able to see here the sidebar after we start implementing all of this now here's exactly what the use context react hook is and it basically means that we're able again to pass in uh, to all of our all of our children uh, a value that is accessible by them now how does this exactly compare to react uh, redux and should you use redux on your project or should you use the use context hook now the fact is that for more complex state management and for being able to track dynamic actions inside of your application so think about it like a kanban application or a drag and drop builder on both of those cases you still want to be using um, redux because it essentially allows you to uh, to handle all of that complex state in a much simpler way and you're always aware of exactly what's happening inside your application but for basing things like a global film or sidebar then use context react hook is perfect and it basically allows us to avoid having to pass in props via our components and doing what is known as prop drilling now technically the difference between redux and the use context is that the use context essentially will cause a re-render each time that the entire value that we pass in via the provider is changed while the re while redux has an entire store that we can access uh, the its values from our components and then redux is going to do a shallow comparison and with it will only update those components if the state that those components are accessing actually gets updated while again in the case of the context api uh, if the entire value that we pass in through the provider changes then all it will cause uh, a re-rendering of all of its children now with this in mind we can go ahead and start creating our context in here uh, and start building our application in a way that is going to allow us to use the use context react hook in order to toggle here this sidebar now let's go back here to our application code and the first step that we want to do is to actually create in here a sidebar context.js file and inside this uh, file we're simply going to house in our sidebar context now the first thing that we want to do is to import from react and we want to import from react here this create context function now we're also going to go ahead and export here our a new context that we'll call sidebar context and then this is going to have the value of create context and we're going to pass in here this as a function 
And then, as you can see here, it says here default value. And in here, we can go ahead and pass in the default value. Now, this default value is only really going to be used if we don't have a provider that is going to pass in the value to our children. But since we're going to actually add a provider, we can go ahead and simply add this here as null because now when we go ahead and actually start creating all our code uh, and adding here the code that is going to allow us to pass in the value through a provider here to our dashboard and then to our, our other components, then that value is going to be accessed. So again, we don't need to really add in here our default value. So with this in mind, we can now go ahead and start by importing here our sidebar context from here, the sidebar context file that we just created. And then we can go ahead and add here our sidebar context dot provider. Now again, this tag right over here simply means that we're going to pass in uh, to this both of these children. Now this is simply a global style that I've applied using uh, the styled components library. But this basically means that this is going to pass in the value that we're going to define now right over here to all of its children. And this means that we'll have access not only here on the toggle, but also here on our sidebar uh, file to the current value of the sidebar. And then we're also going to be able to toggle it via a function that we're going to define. Now, here's exactly what we need to add in here. First of all, we need to start by defining our state of the sidebar in order to be able to not only grab the default value, but also start toggling it. Now, with this in mind, we need to simply add in here sidebar is open and then set sidebar is open. And the value of this is going to be use state. Now, as you can see, it, uh, VS Code has gone ahead and imported here use state from React. And the default state is going to be of false since the default state of the application, once we refresh the page, uh, is going to be false since, the again, the sidebar is going to be closed by default. And now we're also going to define in here a function that we're going to call toggle sidebar. And this function is going to do exactly what the function name says. It is going to toggle the sidebar. So we want to simply pass in here the set sidebar is open. And then inside of uh, this function right over here, we need to pass in the value, which is going to be the opposite value of the current state of the sidebar. And this means that if we go ahead and invoke this function right over here, if the sidebar state sidebar is open state is false, it is going to become true. And if it is true, it is going to become uh, false. Now with this in mind, we can now go ahead and pass in these values. So we're going to pass in here is open as sidebar is open and then uh, toggle as toggle sidebar. And this is all that we need in order to be able to pass in these values to all of the children of the sidebar context uh, via this dot provider thing that React provides us. Now, again, we're going to then be able to access this value is open and then this toggle value. So that's exactly what we want to do next is go ahead and start by first of all, adding here to the sidebar our value that we're going to grab from our sidebar context. So we're going to start by simply importing in here our sidebar context from the sidebar context from the sidebar context file. And then using this, we can simply change this for an object in here that we're going to use in order to access our values. And then in here, we simply want to use again, uh, instead of using here, the create context, as you can see that react provides us, which is the function that is going to allow us to create the context. This is the function that is going to allow us to actually grab values from the context. Now inside of here, we need to pass the context that we've created in here. And that's the reason also that we've exported, not only to be able to pass in here the provider, but also to now be able to import it. So if we type in here sidebar context, and you've already gone ahead and imported it, now we have access to the values that we've passed in here, meaning the is open value, and then the toggle function that is going to allow us to toggle the sidebar. Now in here, we simply want to grab 
the is open value because this component doesn't need to toggle it only needs to know if it is open again because we want to in here using the styled component we want to pass in the props and then if the props is uh, of open so if is open is true then we want to have it uh, of margin z uh, right uh, zero and if it is not true then we want to have it minus 384 pixels uh, meaning that it will perfectly hide it to the right now with this in mind we can go ahead and do the exact same thing for here our toggle component and I've gone ahead and simply copied here the both of these imports and we can go ahead and actually go ahead and also copy this replace it for this and now we have access in here to our use context function uh, by passing in the sidebar context that we've created and now in here we have access not only to the fact to the the state of is open but we also have access to the function of toggle that is going to allow us to click here and then toggle our uh, sidebar now in order to do that we simply need to go here to our toggle icon which is essentially an SVG that is going to render an icon and in here we can add on click and then on click we're simply going to pass in the toggle function which is the same as doing this thing right over here but for simplicity of code and to make it a bit simpler to understand we're simply going to let it be like this and this means that each time that we click on this SVG it is going to toggle our sidebar and we want to do the exact same thing on this one that is going to show each time that the sidebar is not open and now we're done we have a sidebar that is able to be open and close using the use context hook so let's navigate back to our application and again this is just an example we could have this on an application that would have in here a home dashboard and settings button also a logo in here so if you click here on our hamburger icon it is going to open the application again this is passing uh, this is trans again the CSS once it is closed it is at minus 384 pixels and now it is at zero that's why this is coming from the right to the left and the icon is also being changed from again because we have here this function if is open we're going to pass in this X icon and if it is not open we're going to pass in the hamburger icon which is this SVG code that we have right over here by using this function again if it doesn't match this one it is going to simply continue running the code so it is going to show this one and each time that we click here it basically means that it opens or closes and then here on the sidebar we're also going to grab here the value from the use context hook in order to be able to pass it here to our styled component in order to be able to again change the margin right so just to recap we need to essentially create a sidebar context using the create context function then we can pass in here a default value but it is not mandatory since in here we're already passing here a provider and providing it a value now if we had in here for example another component and this component wouldn't be a children of a child of sidebar context that provider in that case it would go ahead and use this default value but in this case we don't need the default value and then in here we simply pass the value of is open that is coming here from the state that we've created and then we'll also go ahead and toggle the sidebar using this function that is going to then inside of this function set the sidebar is open to the opposite value that is currently in meaning that it is going to always be toggling it infinitely and if you want to learn how to use other react hooks i'll leave a link in the description below to others videos that i've done where i go over practical examples like this one on how to use the react hooks on your applications so if you enjoyed this video also leave a like below let me know in the comments exactly what you liked about it and what kind of content you would like to see from this channel in the future and also subscribe to get notified each time that I release a new video.